This is Nikhil Jariwala. Whenever I make a tackle, you're here on the King James Radio Network. And you're listening to Raiders Live on the King James Radio Network. Corbin Thompson here at jamesisking.com, where tonight we are in the Island section of Woodbridge, New Jersey. As tonight, Raiders football commences on the King James Radio Network as the Raiders go for their fourth straight win, and they will take on the JFK Mustangs in a GMC white division matchup. Well, for the story for North Brunswick, well, after a 1-9 and nine season last year, what a difference a year makes, right? Three straight wins. They are 3-2 and two currently under head coach Mike Seipot after an 0-2 start. And so right now, you know, things are clicking for the Raiders. Now, I said, you know, during the week to my, my exclusive groups out there, you guys know who you are, that, listen, with the Raiders offense, it's not going to be the greatest show on turf, but they have gotten the job done in each of the last three weeks. You know, even with junior quarterback Christian Petrillo being hampered a little bit by a bad ankle, he's still able to make some plays, especially on third down. That's where I've been impressed with Christian the most is, you know, being able to make those, convert those big third downs that you need to keep a drive going. So that's really where the Raiders are. Of course, their offense is centered around sophomore running back Miles Bailey, 200 yards last week, second straight week that he's done that. Two touchdowns last week, second straight week that he's done that. He's got seven rushing touchdowns on the year, throw in a receiving touchdown as well. So, Miles Bailey, of course, you know, is the spearhead of this offense. Again, Christian Petrillo, you know, right there as that counterpart, if you will. And the Raiders, you know, kind of go from there. As those two guys go, so do the Raiders. Of course, you know, you have other guys like Brandon Outlaw, who you're going to hear in our Raiders spotlight coming up in a little bit. You know, Brandon has made some big plays, made some big plays in the third quarter last week in the Raiders' 21-7 victory over J.P. Stevens. And so you got guys like Brandon Outlaw that complement, you know, in, in, on the defensive side of the ball. Listen, the Raiders have held their opponents to 10 points or less in the last three games. That has not been done since 2008. They are led, of course, on the defensive line by David Straminski, Alex Rossman, Tyler Hernandez, you know, and you listen, and Samad Wingo has emerged as one of the guys to look for along with Kawana Dolo. The, the linebacking court, I, the defense as a whole, but I like what you see with the secondary with Outlaw, Miles Bailey, Amir Alderman, and you you like what you have with the linebacking group, you know, Kawana Dolo and Sean Brahini. We mentioned uh, Outlaw being moved from linebacker to the secondary, but you like what you see from the linebackers in the secondary in this group. And, the, and again, the defensive line has played well also. So, you know, as a collective, the Raiders defense has done their job over the course of the last three weeks. This is going to be the last week before the bye week comes in next week. The Raiders will have two more games after the bye week. They take on Perth Amboy in Perth Amboy, and then they will finish up the regular season on senior night against Woodbridge. But in the meantime, here at JFK, and, of course, my thanks to the athletic director here at JFK, Mr. Sean Daly, for setting me a nice little spot over here. And, well, for JFK, they come in at 1-4 and four under head coach Pete Christothakis in his second season with the Mustangs. And so for JFK, they just want to win. You know, this is their homecoming night. This is a big night for JFK. They want to win. So any way they can get it is basically, you know, what they're going to try to do. And so before we get to head coach Mike Seipot, you know, their quarterback is David Lee, and he is a junior. And Lee probably, you know, he can, he's can he got a deceptively strong arm. You know, JFK will probably spend most of their time trying to run the ball, but watch out for Lee in the pocket. He's got a strong arm, and again, deceptive because of how much JFK runs the ball. But be on the lookout for that and, uh, you know, a couple of other things, you know, with the Mustangs. So, you know, you want to keep your eye if you're from a defensive standpoint, if you're the Raiders, you know, on, on a couple of items, you know, their featured backs are Maven Garcet and Will Smith. So, you know, you'll see those two guys getting the ball quite a bit here this evening. But I had a chance, of course, earlier today before the Raiders got on the bus to head here to Island to catch up with the head coach of the Raiders, that being Mike Seipot. So we will go ahead and speak to him right now, and then we'll come back. We'll have our we will have Brandon Outlaw in our Raiders spotlight. We'll have this date in Raiders football history. We'll do all of that. But first, here's my conversation with Raiders head football coach Mike Seipot. 
We're here with Raiders head football coach Mike Saipata as the Raiders get ready to try to win their fourth straight game. They take on JFK tonight in Island. So, Coach, you know, basically one question about uh, last week. You know, you held uh, J.P. Stevens to seven points last week. Third straight game, by the way, the Raiders defense has held the opponent to ten points or less. First time since 2008 that's happened. Tell me about, you know, what's been the key on defense here in these last three games? Uh, the key on defense is that we, you know, we, we play with a pass on the defensive side. We know to run to the football. We know that it's a different attitude. And we know that, you know, we, we, we want that to be the strength of our team, no matter what the offense does. You know, we want the offense to score 30 points a game. Uh, you know, you can't guarantee that. Sometimes it doesn't happen. But uh, we make sure that we are taking the right angles. We make sure that we know what the, the opposing team is doing inside and out. And I think the kids the last three weeks have absolutely responded to that. And, um, and, and again, they take a pride in it. So I think that's a, defense is different than offense because defense is a, a lot of mental. It's, it, defense is, is a mentality of running to the football. Uh, to have that attitude, you're not going to get blocked. And uh, the, the 11 guys that we have out there, they all have that attitude, which uh, it, it works and it's shown. Three guys I want to talk to you about, one on offense, two on defense. I'll start with offense and Miles Bailey, another 200-yard game for him. Is it get to a point where that's the expectation with him, that you expect him, maybe not 200 yards every game, but that you expect him to put up these kinds of performances? Yeah, because I can't say that because then we're going to have to make him try to get 300. But that's like, you know, come on. That's not, that's Pushon Brown, Push Brown stats. Yeah. But, hey, listen, we just tell him, do your job. We say just do your job. And at the end of the game, if it racks up 200, it's 200. If it's 170, it's 170. The most important thing that is that it's, there's a win on the scoreboard. And, uh, and Miles knows that, though. Miles is, you know, very grounded. He knows he, you know, he puts his hard hat on. He comes to work every week. He works hard. You wouldn't know, indicate what, what a record is or what his stats are. He just comes to work. And uh, you can't say enough about him. Brandon Outlaw, who will be the listeners will hear in a few minutes in our Raiders spotlight. He's a guy, big third quarter last week, had an interception on defense, had a touchdown on offense. What have you seen with him to where he's really you know starting to come to the forefront now? Brandon has been so valuable on our team on both sides of the ball. I mean, we we asked him to come in to get you know eight to ten carries a game, and all of it's positive. Some of them are touchdowns. I mean, you can't ask for more from Brandon Outlaw as. His stature is, is, you know, he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he's got the, you know, he hits the hardest. He, he's always going forward. And defensively, you know, he comes in, Carteret week, you know, you know, he makes a bunch of tackles. He gets a key interception. Last week he gets an interception. And it goes back to just doing your job. He's not doing anything special. We're not coaching anything special. He goes in. He's excited about football. He loves the guys he plays with. And he, and, and he uh, you know, he does his job. The interception he got in the Carteret game sealed the game there for your first win. The other guy I want to talk to you about is Samad Wingo. Uh, you put him in the starting lineup, I want to say third game, which would be the Carteret game. What have you seen from him that, you know, he's – Really come through for you, you know, and he's among the your, your team leaders in tackles, and he, you know he didn't start the first two games. Tell me about him. Samad is again he he's like Miles Bailey in a sense where he is mature on the football field uh, than than what his grade actually says. He's extremely coachable. Uh, we saw what a great job he was doing at JV, and we we're like, hey man, maybe we should bring this kid up. And you know, my brother Nick Saipa has been working with him, and he's done a tremendous job with that. And uh, you can't again, you can't ask any more from Samad. The kid does his job. He makes plays in the backfield. He pressures the quarterback. He knows his assignments, which isn't easy for a sophomore coming there playing the D line. You're going against guys that are sometimes bigger than you. And he does his job. And, and, and again, he's another kid where he keeps his mouth shut. You wouldn't even know he's there. And uh, the seniors on that line have rallied with him. And uh, it's, it's been, it's a, good, it's been a, a feel-good thing to see for, with Samad. Before I get to JFK, you know, you have, let's see, you have JFK tonight, uh, bye week, then Perth Amboy, then Woodbridge. So three games left before you know if you're going to make the state playoffs. Is it something that the guys can t- almost taste at this point that, okay, we've had a little success and we can see the, the, the end from the beginning, so to speak? It's in their minds. You know, I, we try as a staff not to even talk about it. I don't like really talking about it until it's, you know, really right in front of us. 
right now we're just concentrating on JFK. Let's beat JFK, and then at the you know at the end of the cutoff, we'll see where we line up. But you know, it's again, I said it last week and maybe the week before. The goal is still in front of us, and we just got to do our job tonight, and uh, we'll see where we line up after that. I was reading the NJ.com article that they wrote on you, and uh, you were talking about how things have happened sooner than you thought they would. Is that a product of coaching, or is that a product of, you know, the kids are in the right place at the right time? Where does that come from? Both, both. I, I think the kids, the number one, the kids have absolutely responded from the first day we came in here as a staff. They have absolutely set the tone for the year, put the work in, and even with those first two losses, the kids never gave up. The kids keep fighting, and that's their motto, to keep fighting, keep you know, pushing forward, and uh, and again, they did it together, which is our number one motto. And I think without them be doing it together, I don't think we would have reached it as quick. But I think that we, uh, we as a staff, have established that so much that every day we're saying, you know, you got to be together, you got to do this, the town's behind you, this and that. That I think helps. And again, I can't say enough about my staff. They do a tremendous job from, you know, from the offensive side all the way down to special teams. These guys come to work every day. They're prepared and. You know, my 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 trust in them has grown each and every day, and uh, and, the, and the kids love them, and uh, it's everything's been working out so far. So hopefully tonight's a good result. Two more from Mike Sipod, and they're both related to JFK. Their quarterback David Lee. Um, he looks like you know similar to you know, some of the quarterbacks you faced already. He likes to run. Tell me what you see in trying to you know slow down JFK. Oh, there's no doubt that he's the best guy on that, on that offense. I mean, he, he's definitely the gas pedal. It runs through him. You know, he's got a heck of an arm. He can throw it to you, he can throw it deep. He can throw a nice hitch. Uh, he rolls out well. He's got some moves. You know, he can run. They, 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 it looks like they set up the offense around him. So, you know, we have a big task to stop him tonight. And if we do, it could be a good uh, result. Special teams. I was watching their game against Woodbridge last week, and I think you know, for me, you tell me what you see, but you know that you might have an advantage there in the kicking game. Is that something you guys want to exploit a little bit? Um, we and again, we put so much time in special teams. You know, Chris, Coach Mar does a great job with them, and each week we're doing something different or there's a new wrinkle on how we can try to score, try to get good field position, and uh, I think it's in our favor because. Coach Mar does such a great job. Um, we have the great guys in in special teams, and uh, if they want to try that pop kick, we have an answer for it. Um, you know, we just got to be ready, and they are, and they're prepared, and, you know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Mike Sipot getting ready for JFK, and again, the Raiders try to win their fourth straight. So, Coach, good luck out there. Thanks a lot. Thank you. There you hear from Raiders head football coach Mike Sipot as we get ready for North Brunswick and JFK here tonight. The North Brunswick Marching Band currently out on the field showcasing their talents. So good to see the Raiders marching band out there. So Mike Sidepot, you know, talking about uh, different guys that have contributed. Uh, Samad Wingo for one, Brandon Outlaw for another, and, you know, you've got guys left and right that have chipped in for North Brunswick. And again, while Christian Petrillo and Miles Bailey, those are your two main men on offense, really it's been a team effort over these last three games. And so the Raiders hope to continue that here tonight. So, we will take ourselves a short break, and when we come back, we will have junior defensive back and junior running back Brandon Outlaw in our Raiders spotlight. So, we'll talk to him, and we'll go ahead and go forward here with our Raiders live pregame as the Raiders go for their fourth straight win as they take on the JFK Mustangs. We'll break, and we'll come back in just a moment. This is Raiders live pregame on the King James Radio Network. Dana and Lisa here from Our Turf Football to tell you that the Our Turf podcast is up and running for the 2017 football season. Did you know that women make up over 45% of all NFL fans and counting? Here at Our Turf, we have our own take on what's happening around the National Football League with special features, previews, reports from our official fan reporters covering each team, and interviews with players and personalities who have the scoop on what's happening. Women are in the know when it comes to football, and it's time the rest of the world knew it too. Our Turf Football is every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the King James Radio Network at jamesisking.com. This is David Straminski. Raiders football is on your radio at jamesisking.com. We come back now to our Raiders Live pregame on the King James Radio Network. We're live here in the Island section of Woodbridge, New Jersey, where the Raiders are set to take on the JFK Mustangs. The referees are out on the field right now, and you know the marching band here at JFK looks like they're live and ready to go. They're a little bit off to my right. So 
We had a chance earlier today to catch up with junior running back and defensive back Brandon Outlaw. Brandon has two interceptions on the year. His first interception helped to seal the win for North Brunswick over Carteret, giving Mike Saipot his first win as a head coach. And then his second interception came last week in the third quarter against J.P. Stevens. So Brandon Outlaw making big plays this year for North Brunswick. We had a chance to catch up with the one and only Outlaw, Brandon Outlaw, in our Raiders Spotlight. And here is that conversation right now. Here with Brandon Outlaw as the Raiders get ready for JFK tonight. And you know, Brandon had a monster third quarter last week, an interception and a touchdown uh, you know, on both defense and offense respectively. And you know, so my question is, you know, is that something that you know last week just kind of happens all of a sudden? It's not necessarily something you don't maybe not expect that to happen, but is that something that just – you know, it just happened, and you just kind of roll with it? Yeah, the ball went up, and I had to go get it. <laughs> so that's the interception. Take me through you know, take me through the first half of the year. You know, you guys, uh, you know, rebuilding really after one win last year. You know, what's been the difference in your mind between last year and this year? Uh, the togetherness, us being together, and the new coaching staff. What has the coaching staff done that's, that's been different? Uh, they, they're on us. About everything. <laughs> so, so if there's one, you know, if there, if there, any little thing they see that uh, they're gonna call you out on it. Yes. What, um, you know, what do you, you know, what's the? I guess what's your biggest? Do you feel like your biggest strength is? Is it? Uh, is it defense? Is it offense? Is there one part of your game that you that you take pride in more than than the others? Uh, everything. Defense, offense. I just do everything to make my team better. You, now you got you had some playing time last year. You know you saw you got to, you got some touches. Did that make you that much better this year that you were able to you know like I said get a few touches last year? Yes. Where do you you know th th you guys have won three in a row? What do you obviously state playoffs is a goal? What do you feel like this team has to do to get from point A to point B? Just play to the end. Play to the end. Is there anything that you're working on for yourself? And yeah, working on my corner skills because I used to play linebacker. They moved me to corner. Okay. So I'm just working on my footwork. Yeah. What's, okay, the footwork. So I was going to ask you what's been the challenge, you know, as far as playing corner? Just like getting off the blocks and making a tackle. Yeah. Now, you've made, obviously, you've made some tackles this year. Tell me about the secondary, you guys. You know, yourself, Amir Alderman, Miles Bailey back there. You know, as a unit, you guys have been pretty good. Tell me about. You know, you guys playing together this year? Uh, we've been playing ever since we were in Pop Warner. So it's like the connection is there. So it's just, and you guys kind of know what the other's thinking? Yeah. There, you know, a lot of the teams that you played against this year have been primarily focused on the run, but when they do throw, you know, when they do throw a pass back there, is it easy to, to be able to read the quarterback, or, or does that take some work and some skill to try and do? Uh, it's easy. Once he drops back, I know he's going to throw it. And then you know where you have to be. Yes. Two more here for Brandon Outlaw. State playoffs, like I said, is the goal this year. What would it mean for this team, you know, after everything you guys went through the last couple of years, what would it mean for this team to, to make the state playoffs? Everything. We're working every day. That's the goal. We're trying to get there. And then finally, you know, you're, you're a junior. So, you know, as you come, as you come towards senior year, how do you, you know, do, do you put more pressure on yourself to, to, to try and, you know, try and get better with every game? Or do you feel like senior year is where, you know, is where, you, you know, you have to leave it all on the table? No, I'm trying to do that now. I've got to play every game like it's my last. Well, hopefully this isn't your last game. Brandon Outlaw joins us you know, here in our pregame. And so thank you, sir. And, uh, you know, good luck and uh, wear that well. You know, I, won't, I won't say what Brandon's wearing, but wear it well. And uh, good luck to you, all right? All right. Thank you. Well, now I will say what Brandon Outlaw was wearing. He was he was dressed in pink. <laughs> his uh, his uh, you know his Under Armour gear and all that. He's dressed in pink. I think you know a lot of the, some of the guys wearing some pink tonight in honor of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So you know, I see a lot of the a lot of the guys are wearing the pink socks there. This being the month of October. So you know Brandon Outlaw probably uh, showing his uh, 
his his uh, pink side, if you will. But anyway, um, before I get into any trouble, let's take a break. And when we come back, uh, we'll, you know, we'll have this date in Raiders football history. It looks like the Raiders are on the field, so we're just waiting for JFK. So with that being said, we'll have this date in Raiders football history, and then we'll have opening kick, North Brunswick and JFK coming up on the other side of the break. We are live in Island, New Jersey. So we will break, and we will come back in just a moment. This is Raiders Live pregame on the King James Radio Network. This week at Restoration Place, are you ready for the fight by First Lady Darlene Bazemore? Are you ready for the fight? Because it's going to be a fight. Yes. We're in spiritual warfare even right now as we speak. Restoration Place, every Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern at jamesisking.com. Welcome to another edition of This Date in Raiders Football History. We go back to October 13th, 1999, when the Raiders defeated St. Thomas by a score of 33-6. to Rob Ibrahim, Gary Langstrath, Frank Piazza, and John McGrath each scored touchdowns in that game for the Raiders. McGrath actually had two, as North Brunswick would roll over St. Thomas. In 2006, the Raiders shut out Colonia 21 to nothing behind quarterback Camille Haig and a touchdown pass when he also ran for one. Nick Gambino scored to help North Brunswick's cause as well. Gambino finished with 165 yards of total offense on the night. Jason Airy made 15 tackles on the defensive side of the ball. In honor of the 1992 North Brunswick Raiders and the 25th anniversary of their first division championship, the Raiders pounced on Colonia 55-20 to to go 4-1-1 and on the season. Darrell Banks picked up 203 yards with three touchdowns, ranging from 30 yards, 50 yards, and 52 yards. Eric Cunningham also had a big day on the ground with 102 yards. Craig Rubenstein kicked seven extra points for the Raiders in this one. Six different Raiders scored touchdowns, and North Brunswick put up 21 points in the fourth quarter to put the cherry on top. That is this date in Raiders football history. We'll be back with more of Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. Your radio home for North Brunswick Raiders sports, Timothy Christian basketball, Restoration Place, Wednesday night with NFL Female, the Jersey Basketball Association, and more is the King James Radio Network. We are the North Brunswick Raiders cheerleaders. It's time for Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. All right, a pleasant Friday evening to one and all. We welcome you here to JFK High School, uh, the JFK Marching Band playing the National Anthem. We are ready for kickoff. North Brunswick and JFK. Aaron R. set to kick this thing off for the Raiders. And this will be a kick over towards the far sideline. It'll take a bounce at the about the 19-yard line and head out of bounds from there. So it looks like JFK will get this thing at the 35-yard line. So the Mustangs will have the ball first, and they will start at first and 10 from the 35-yard line. Again, junior quarterback Daniel Lee, David Lee, excuse me, So Lee will start from the 35. And JFK in their green jerseys with the silver letters and numbers. And they will go from left to right. The red is in the white jerseys with the gold letters and numbers. Blue pants, blue helmets with the double gold stripe. So Maven Garcet is in motion. And deep ball here on the first play of the game from David Lee. He throws it deep downfield and overthrows his man, which would be DeAndre Carter, incomplete. Brandon Outlaw on the coverage for the Raiders. So that'll make his second down and 10. So again, the Raiders having won three straight games. JFK trying to snap a four-game skid. So second down. Lee will work out of the shotgun here. And Will Smith now comes behind 
And he'll go ahead and take the handoff here from Lee and crosses the 40, gets to about midfield before he is tackled there from behind by Sean Brahini. Gain of nine, it'll be third and one from the 44-yard line. Glad you're with us at jamesisking.com, also on Facebook under the name King James Radio Network, and on Twitter at King James Radio 1. So third down and one, Lee will work out of the shotgun and to take the snap with Garcet coming in motion. He crosses the middle, gets the first down, does Lee to about the 48. So, Lee will have himself a first down for JFK. It'll be first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Two wide receivers left. Lee, empty backfield. Will work out of the gun, takes the snap, quick throw to the left, and completes it to DeAndre Carter at the North Brunswick 48, dragging a man across the 45 down to the far sideline, right around the 41. Manny Herrera, the junior, on the stop. They'll spot it at the 42. So that's a first down for JFK. So first and 10 from the North Brunswick 42. Lee out of the shotgun here with Smith. Now moving behind Lee, takes the snap, hands off to Lee and goes off right tackle and crosses the 40 all the way down to the North Brunswick 30 yard line. Tripped up at the last second. So Will Smith with a big gainer gets it to the 25. Gain of 17 for Will Smith. For those of you just joining us on our live feed, we had a little technical difficulties. My, my laptop froze at exactly the wrong second. So I had to reboot to kind of get us back on the air. But it is first and 10 JFK from the North Brunswick 25 after JFK took the opening kickoff. David Lee out of the shotgun. Will Smith to his right, takes the snap. Quick throw to the left to DeAndre Carter at the 20. Jukes a man at the 18 and gets to about the 15 before Herrera. Manny Herrera tackles him there. So again, DeAndre Carter, one of the main targets for David Lee and JFK. No score, 9.47 to go here in the first quarter. It is a first down for JFK, so first and 10 for the North Brunswick, 15. Two wide receivers left, Lee out of the gun with Smith in motion, now behind Lee, takes the snap, hands off here to Smith, and he is dragged down at the line of scrimmage. So That is Tyler Hernandez on the tackle for the Raiders. So no gain. And you're looking at second and 10 now from the 15-yard line. 9.07 to go here in the first quarter. No score, North Brunswick and JFK. The Raiders looking for their fourth straight win. JFK trying to snap a four-game skid. So Lee will work out of the shotgun here. Two wides to each side. And now with Lee takes the snap, goes off tackle left, and gets a couple of yards to about the 12-yard line. You had Dennis Howard coming in motion to the far side. G.D. Macellis and Manny Herrera on the stop. So ball spotted at the 12, looking at third and seven from the 12-yard line. Raiders did not allow a red zone touchdown last week. As Lee out of the gun with, this is Merced, this is Garced rather, Maven Garced. And he crosses the 10, going to the right side, gets to about the 8-yard line before Sean Brahini wraps him up. So. 
So gain of one. Or oh, check that. Gain of the ball's at the seven. So you're looking at fourth and a short two from the seven yard line. It looks like we're gonna get we're gonna get a timeout. So timeout called by JFK here to figure out what they want to do. 7.42 to go here in the first quarter. No score between North Brunswick and JFK. So we will take a break here and we'll come back in just a moment. You're listening to North Brunswick Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. This week at Restoration Place, are you ready for the fight by First Lady Darlene Bazemore? Are you ready for the fight? Because it's going to be a fight. We're in spiritual warfare even right now as we speak. Restoration Place, every Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern at jamesisking.com. This is David Straminski. Raiders football is on your radio at jamesisking.com. All right, we come back to live action. JFK calling a timeout. They're there first. They have fourth and two. On the North Brunswick 7-yard line, 7.42 to go in the first quarter. No score here. So JFK in their green jerseys with the white helmets going from left to right. Junior quarterback David Lee will work out of the shotgun here. And now man in motion, and we get a whistle. Time Timeout JFK. So JFK using their second timeout. Perhaps they weren't ready, so JFK having to use two timeouts before running their next play. And they're down to one here in the first half. And we're only four minutes and 18 seconds into this game. Alex Kalmar Gonzalo was coming in motion, setting up behind Lee, but apparently that was not the right call. So, so JFK will regroup here. Again, fourth and two JFK from the North Brunswick seven-yard line. No score. JFK received the opening kick and has marched down the field. They started at their own 35-yard line. So Lee now empty backfield, working out of the shotgun, takes the snap. Howard in motion. He takes the snap. Does Lee tries to go right, but Sean Brahini's there to wrap him up. And the Raiders get the stop. And that looked like a busted play. So a loss of two. And North Brunswick will take it on downs here. The Raiders will have it first and ten from their own nine-yard line. Junior quarterback Christian Petrillo for North Brunswick. Petrillo, 352 yards, passing yards on the year. Three touchdowns, three interceptions. 160 rushing yards with a touchdown. Of course, his nickname is Chich. So Petrillo out of the shotgun, takes the snap, hands off to Miles Bailey, off tackle right, crosses to about the 15, and is tackled there. Looked like David Lee on the tackle for the Raiders. Bailey with over 700 yards so far. Second down and four from the second down and four from the 15 yard line Petrillo takes the snap hands off Bailey going right and maybe gets a yard or two well check that I think that no that was Bailey so not much there for the Raiders so it'll be third down Ball is on the 18-yard line, so third and one from the 18. Petrillo out of the gun, takes the snap, hands off, and trying to come to the near side is Bailey, and he was tripped up. I don't know if he got it. David Lee on the tackle for JFK. Ball spotted at the 15, so actually a loss of three. So it'll be fourth and four now from the 15-yard line, and the Raiders will punt. Aaron R. will kick this thing from right to left. DeAndre Carter back deep for JFK. He's standing at midfield. R. standing at his own three. Takes the snap. And a line drive kick. This will take a North Brunswick roll across midfield. And it'll be down at the 43-yard line. 
Justin Jenkins downing it. And he could have let that roll a few more yards there. I think he picked that up a little prematurely. But JFK will have it first and 10 from their own 44-yard line. 5.48 to go here in the first quarter. No score between North Brunswick and JFK. JFK coming off an overtime loss to Woodbridge last week, 27-21. The Mustangs won their season opener, but have not won since. They defeated Red Bank in the season opener. So out of the shotgun as Lee takes the snap and hands off and breaking a tackle is Kalmar Gonzalo. He goes up the middle, crosses to the 50. Tyler Hernandez is able to bring him down. So Alex Kalmar Gonzalo gets it to midfield. Gain of six, second and four from midfield. 5.22 to go here in the first. Again, no score. Four wide receivers, two to each side. Empty backfield for Lee. Lee calling signals. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap. Quick throw to the left, completes it to Carter. In North Brunswick territory at the 45 and gets out of bounds around the 40. So, I believe that was Samir Session. That forces, that might have been outlaw. It's hard to tell those fives from sixes. No, no, that might have been outlaw. Outlaw that forced him out. So that'll be good enough for JFK first down. From they're at the North Brunswick 43. Lee will work out of the gun, empty backfield, and now coming in motion is Garcet. Lee takes the snap, goes off tackle left 40, and gets to about the 36. Before he is wrapped up there, looks like Alex Rossman was the one who made the tackle. So gain of seven. Uh, and Lee is going to be the, Lee is the, is JFK's leading rusher. So he's going to be the main man here. 437 to go in the first, no score. Again, empty backfield. Two wide receivers left. Lee out of the gun. And now coming in motion is Kalmar. Takes the snap to Lee. He'll throw it left side and along the left sideline. Incomplete, it looks like. Oh, did he, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did they rule that a catch? There's a flag down. Well, it wouldn't matter anyway. Holding on JFK. So this one will come back. So they'll bring this back from the spot of the foul, presumably. And they'll bring it back to the Raider 47. So you're looking at second and 14 now from the 47. So Lee, empty backfield here, and now Kalmar comes in motion. Kalmar Gonzalo out of the shotgun, and he'll hand off to Gonzalo. Goes, uh, actually, no, Lee keeps it, and he'll go right, and he is upended at midfield by Amir Alderman. Check that, the JFK, the North Brunswick 45, rather. Oh, sorry, Garcet on the carry. See, they fooled me big time. So it's to the 43. So third, and it'll be third and a long 10. So Carter in the slot to the left. Two wide receivers right. Empty backfield for Lee. Out of the gun. Takes the snap. Five-step drop. Looks. Throws it. Deep ball right side. And knocked away at the last second by Amir Alderman. Intended for Gonzalo. Amir Alderman. Respect your alders. It'll be fourth down. Fourth and 10 from the 43. David Lee also punts as well as plays quarterback for JFK. 
Amir Alderman back deep for the Raiders. He'll stand at his own 17. Meanwhile, Lee, standing at his own 47, takes the snap and gets this away. He sails over Alderman's head, takes a JFK bounce, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's in the end zone. It'll be a touchback. So JFK didn't quite get the result they wanted there. The Raiders will have it first and 10 from their own 20-yard line with 3.04 to go here in the first quarter. No score. Miles Bailey with 706 yards on the season and seven touchdowns. So we'll see how much he gets the ball here tonight. He's had 200-yard rushing performances each of the last two weeks. Juan Adolo is to the right here of Petrillo. He takes the snap out of the gun, looks, throws it over the middle, and did he catch it? It looks like he did. Manny Herrera with a tumbling catch at the 40-yard line. Herrera bobbled that off the fingertips and makes the catch. 21-yard gain for Herrera. First and 10, Raiders in a hurry up. Petrillo out of the gun, Dolo to his left. Bailey behind him, hands off to Bailey. Cuts it back inside, 45 and 46. And his forward progress will be stopped there. Garcet, among others, on the tackle for JFK. So Bailey to the 47, gain of six. We're looking at second and four. From the North Brunswick 47-yard line, 2.22 to go in the first quarter in a scoreless game. Bailey lines up in the slot to the left, Alderman wide left. Outlaw in the backfield, out of the shotgun, Chich will keep it after faking it to Outlaw and gets to the 49. Gonzalo on the tackle. So a gain of two, third and two from the 49. 152 to go in the first quarter. No score here between North Brunswick and JFK. The Raiders have, the offense has gotten off to some slow starts this year, but they picked it up as the game has gone along. Petrillo out of the gun, Outlaw to his left. And Petrillo fakes the handoff to Outlaw, crosses midfield, gets to, on a second effort, to about the 46. So we'll see if that's good enough for a first down. They'll spot it at the 48. Philip Lindsay on the tackle for JFK. So that is a gain of three. That is indeed a first down. First and 10 from the 48 of JFK. This time split backfield. Bailey to the left, outlaw to the right of Petrillo, out of the gun, takes the snap, hands off to Bailey. Ball tackle right, 45, 40, and drag down. Almost a horse collar there. At about the 41. Maven Garcet on the tackle. So they put it at the 36-yard line. That's a gain of 16 for Bailey. And it'll be first and 10. 104 to go in the first. Three wide receivers, two to the right. Petrillo out of the gun, hands off to Bailey on the draw, and spins his way past the 35 and then is knocked down at about the 34. So I'm trying to see who made that tackle there. Don't ask. It'll be second down. Petrillo, out of the gun from the 34, takes the snap, rolling left. Looks, throws it. Left side for Herrera, incomplete. But check that for Outlaw. And Lee was on the coverage. So it'll be third down. 26 seconds to go in the first quarter. It'll be third down and eight. So the Raiders trying to get something going here. Alderman wide to the left. Bailey in motion. Petrillo takes the snap. Referees will blow this one dead. Flags down. 
False start on the Raiders. So a third down penalty there. That'll move it back five yards. It'll be third and 13 from the 39-yard line with 16 seconds left, clock running, to go in the first quarter here in a scoreless game. We'll see if the Raiders could get the snap off here. Nine seconds. Petrillo setting up his backfield. Dolo is to the right. Three seconds. I think they're just going to let it run. Petrillo looking back at the clock. They're just going to let it run out. And that will end the first quarter. So just as it was last week against J.P. Stevens, we have played one. And we have a scoreless game, North Brunswick and JFK. We'll take a break. We'll come back with North Brunswick Raiders football presented by the North Brunswick Baseball and Softball Association and Route 1 Dental on the King James Radio Network. Dana and Lisa here from Our Turf Football to tell you that the Our Turf podcast is up and running for the 2017 football season. Did you know that women make up over 45% of all NFL fans and counting? Here at Our Turf, we have our own take on what's happening around the National Football League with special features, previews, reports from our official fan reporters covering each team, and interviews with players and personalities who have the scoop on what's happening. Women are in the know when it comes to football, and it's time the rest of the world knew it too. Our Turf Football is every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the King James Radio Network at jamesisking.com. That's right. Check out Dana and Lisa every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. on jamesisking.com. Wednesday, that's actually formerly Wednesday night with NFL Female Our Turf Football, where the ladies show you, well, they tell you exactly what they do know about the sport of football, despite what Cam Newton might have to say. But second quarter, it's third and 13 from the 39-yard line for the Raiders. They're on the JFK 39. Two wide receivers left. Empty backfield for Christian Petrillo. And now coming in motion is Amir Alderman. Fake the handoff. And they'll go ahead and give it here to, this is going to be Manny Herrera. Getting all the way to the JFK 40-yard line here on the near side. Gonzalo on the tackle for JFK. Ball is spotted at the 29. Gain of 10 for Herrera. It's fourth down and three from the JFK 29. Again, just underway. Second quarter, no score. Aaron Orr lined up wide to the right. Dolo and Bailey in the backfield to the left of Petrillo. Petrillo, out of the shotgun, takes the snap, pitches to Bailey, going left, 30, back inside, inside the left hash, or just outside the left hash, getting to about the 27, it looks like, which will be a first down for Bailey. Damon Washington on the tackle for JFK. So the Raiders get to convert a big fourth down there, first down and 10 from the 25. So Petrillo with Dolo to his left. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap, drops back. Petrillo looking, throws it, deep ball, in zone, left corner, and knocked away incomplete. Intended from Wanza Fitzpatrick, but DeAndre Carter knocks it away. Wanza missing the last three games. Non-injury related situation there. Making his way back into the Raiders lineup. But Carter knocking away that pass at the last minute. It'll be second and 10 from the JFK 25. 10.40 to go here in the second quarter. Dolo to the right of Petrillo. Two wide receivers left. Out of the gun. Petrillo hands off to Dolo. Off tackle right. 20 and is tackled by David Lee. They'll spot this at the 21, so gain of four. Third and six from the 21. So now the North Brunswick's Petrillo will get his play from the sideline. 10-12 to go in the half. No score. I never got you guys our game temperature presented by the Weather Channel. Cloudy skies, 63 degrees at game time. Petrillo out of the gun. Dolo to his left. 
Coming in motion is Bailey. Petrillo takes the snap, keeps it, goes up the middle. 15 spins inside the 10, 5, another spin. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. Christian Petrillo. Spinning his way to pay dirt. Oh, flag down. Well, nifty running by Petrillo, but it will be for Nord, it looks like. It's going to come back. Flag down back at the 24-yard line. Holding call against the Raiders. Well, that was Christian, one of Christian Petrillo's best runs of the year, but it'll come back. This one comes all the way back to the 33-yard line. where it will be third down and 18. So Petrillo, to the far side, out of the shotgun, takes the snap. Pump fakes, rolls right, and now throws it, completes it along the near sideline to Outlaw. He's forced out of bounds. Excuse me, Outlaw on the catch. And he's forced out. Looks like they'll spot this at the 19. So it's a gain of 14. It'll be fourth down and four from the 19 yard line. 9.40 to go in the half. So Petrillo without low to his right. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap, fakes to Bailey now, keeps it off, tackle left. Did he get the first down? Looked like Lee was able to bring him down, but did he get the first down? Let's, let's see where they spot this. Are they going to measure it? Ball is spotted at the 16-yard line, which would put the Raiders a yard short, so I don't think they made it. So, yep, JFK will take over on downs. So it was fourth and four. Petrillo got three yards. So JFK takes over on downs, first and ten from the 16-yard line. Lee, empty backfield, and now coming in motion will be Smith out of the gun. And fakes the hand. It's a yard or two before David Straminski brings him down. So it'll be second down. So you're looking at second and eight from the 18. Clock runs with 9.05 to go in the half. Keep in mind, JFK only has one timeout. Lee, empty backfield. Works out of the gun. Three, four wide receivers. Takes the snap. Throws it left for Carter. And he makes the catch. He's going to be brought down by Outlaw and Herrera. Ball is spotted. Looks like the 22 they spot this. So gain of four. And it'll be third down and four from the 22. With 8.26 to go before halftime. So Lee will work out of the gun, takes the snap, empty backfield, and this time he'll throw it right in a rainbow throw. Did he make the catch in bounds? He did. So Tamari Leacock Carrington making the catch. At the 32, gain a 10, which will be good enough for a JFK first down. So first and 10 from the 32, 8-12 to go in the half. Lee getting out of the shotgun. This time Gonzalo will take the handoff and maybe, maybe a yard before being driven back. 
by Straminski and others. Sean Brahini in there as well. Alex Kalmar is his actual name, but he's hyphenated Kalmar Gonzalo. I'll try to say I'll try to say Kalmar. So looks like a gain of one, second and nine from the 33. 7.36 to go before halftime. Two wide receivers left here for the Mustangs. Lee will work out of the shotgun. Empty backfield takes the snap. Quick throw to the left here to Carter. And goes back inside. 35 gets to the 40 before he is dumped there. Straminski and Macellus. So... Carter with another reception. That's DeAndre Carter's fifth reception so far here in the first half. Gain of seven to the 40, third and two for the Mustangs. 6.53 to go in the half. No score. So the Raiders trying to get a stop here and trying to put something on the board here before the half. Empty backfield. Lee, out of the shotgun, takes the snap. Drop back. Here comes the rush. Gets away from one man and heaves it deep downfield. And he's got a man. It's caught. Caught just short of the Raider 20-yard line. The catch is made by Damari Leacock. I believe that was outlaw on the coverage. Actually, it might have been Herrera. But we told you in the pregame, Lee can chuck it down the field. First and 10 from the 22. Lee takes the snap out of the gun, keeps it, goes up the middle, crosses the 20, gets to about the 18 before he is tackled by David Straminski. So on that last play, that was a gain of 38 on that pass from Lee to Lee Cock. It'll be second and six from the Raider 18 with 5.41 to go in the half in a scoreless game. Empty backfield, two wide receivers right for Lee out of the gun. Takes the snap, quick drop, throws it left and completes it at the five and... Bailey and Outlaw on the tackle. The catch is made by Garcet. Maven Garcet on the on the catch. So the Mustangs threatening here. First and goal now from the four. Gain of 14 on that pass. So first and goal from the four yard line. Carter wide to the right. Lee empty backfield. Out of the gun, takes the snap, and goes over to Garcet, and cuts it back inside, and there it is. There's the signal. Touchdown, JFK. So Maven Garcet opens up the scoring for JFK with a four-yard touchdown run. JFK leads it six to nothing, pending the extra point. Kareem Hefaz will kick the extra point here. Snap, spot, and a high kick. And it is good. So with 5.06 to go before halftime, JFK leads it by a score of 7 to nothing. We'll break and we'll come back with North Brunswick Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. This is David Straminski. Raiders football is on your radio at jameseisking.com. JFK went nine plays, 84 yards on that drive to make it 7 to nothing with 5.06 to go here in the second quarter. So Hefaz will kick this off here from right to left. Two men back deep for the Raiders. Line drive. It'll be caught by, well, no, not caught. Bobbled by another man. That's Bailey. He's back at the 20 trying to dance his way upfield. 25, 30, 35. 
spins at the 40, still on his feet, 45, still going midfield, tackled at the JFK 48, Miles Bailey turning nothing into something. There's a reason that Coach Sipot puts him on special teams. You just heard it right there. So first and 10 for the Raiders from the JFK 48. So that's a 32-yard return. And again, you know, Bailey looked like he was going to be swallowed up back there, but he escaped. Bunch formation to the left here for North Brunswick. Three wides to the left. Petrillo out of the gun with Bailey to his left. High snap, takes it, and he'll run left. 48, 45, 40, has a whole 30, 20. Christian Petrillo could go. Left side, touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. Christian Petrillo goes 48 yards. That's six for Chich, and it's seven to six. JFK pending the extra point. And the Raiders answer back just like that. Second rushing touchdown of the year for Petrillo. Aaron R. will attempt the extra point. Christian Petrillo to hold. Snap, spot, R's kick. It is good. And with four minutes and 42 seconds to go here in the first half, the Raiders... And so right back, we're tied at 7, North Brunswick and JFK. We'll be back with Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. Well, it didn't take long for the Raiders to respond on one play. Christian Petrillo goes 48, excuse me, 48 to the house for a touchdown. And so with the extra point, we're tied at 7 with 4.42 to go in the first half. Aaron R. kicks it from left to right, a line drive kick. And it is caught at the 10-yard line. And 15, 20, 25, 30. And knocked down just short of the 40-yard line. I believe that was Damari Leacock, I believe. For JFK from the 38-yard line. So now the goal for the Raiders here is, you know, primarily the focus is to get the ball back. Raiders have all three of their timeouts with 435 left in the second quarter. DeAndre Carter wide to the left. Lee will work out of the shotgun. Now Calmar comes behind him. He'll take the snap and hands off to Calmar. And Kwana Dolo right there in his grill. Juana Dolo, the transfer from Newark Central, getting in on the play. Let's see where they spot this. It's going to be a loss. Actually, no. They put it right back. Uh, but maybe a loss of one. Second and 11 from the 37. Four minutes to go in the second. We're tied at seven. So Carter will line up wide to the right this time. And so Lee, empty backfield, out of the gun, takes the snap. Quick drop, looks, throws it left, and near sideline completes it. Forced out of bounds by Manny Herrera, but not before Damari Leacock makes the catch. So they'll put it at the 47. Gain of 10, so you're looking at third and one. Clock running at 319 to go in the half. So Carter, well, uh, Leacock wide to the right, and Carter wide to the left. Three wide receivers here, empty backfield. Now coming in motion is Howard, and Lee takes the snap, fakes to Howard, goes across the line of scrimmage. Looks like he's got the first down. Alex Rossman there on the tackle. Rossman, a senior. So it does. Lee does get the yard that he needs, and first down JFK at their own 48-yard line, 2.54 to go in the half. 
So we'll see if JFK is inclined to use their timeout. Leacock wide to the right. Carter wide to the left. Empty backfield here for Lee. Now coming in motion is Kalmar out of the shotgun. Lee, quick drop, throws it, a bullet over the middle, and completes it in North Brunswick territory. Crossing the 40 to the 35 is Garcet, Maven Garcet. They'll spot that at the 33. And I heard a whistle. Clock stops with, no, still running, 2.19 to go. Now I just showed another whistle. So we get a timeout in North Brunswick. So North Brunswick calls a timeout with 2.17 left to go in the half. The Raiders probably trying to see if they can get the ball back. So we'll break here. 7-7, 2.17 left in the half. We'll be back on the King James Radio Network. Back here to Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. Gain of 19 on that last pass play from David Lee to Maven Garcet. First and 10 Mustangs for the North Brunswick 33. We're tied at 7 with 2.17 left in the second quarter. Garcet in motion. Lee takes the snap, fakes it, now goes deep. Left side for Carter. He's got him. Touchdown, JFK. DeAndre Carter on the reception. He got past Brandon Outlaw there in the near left corner of the end zone. And there, now it's 13 to 7, JFK pending the extra point. He fast for the extra point. Snap, spot, a high kick, and it is good. So just like that, JFK answers back to the Raiders' answer. And in case you're wondering, the Raiders better start uh, worrying about DeAndre Carter. That's DeAndre Carter's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's his sixth reception of the first half. 14 to 7 is your score. JFK leads. So the Mustangs will kick off here. He fast will kick it. Three men back deep for the Raiders. Outlaw to the near side, Bailey in the middle, and G.D. Macellus on the far side. 2.10 left to go in the half, 14-7 is your score, Mustangs lead it. And so Kareem Hefaz, a high but short kick, it'll be taken over at the far side. Manny Herrera making the catch, and I think, looks like they're going to make him kick it again. So a flag comes down. And penalty is against JFK. So apparently an offside penalty there against the Mustang. So PFAS will have to kick it again. So again, same contingent here back deep. Outlaw to the near side, Bailey in the middle, and Macellus on the far side. 2.10 left in the half. So Hefaz will go ahead, and this is an even shorter kick, and it bounces in front of Herrera. He better fall on it, and he does. At about the 44, that's a live ball. So North Brunswick will have it first and 10 here from their own 44-yard line. So, first and 10 from the 44. 2 10 left in the first half. The Raiders have two timeouts. Bunch formation to the right. Three wides. Brahini, R, and Bailey are bunched to the right. Or check that. Bailey's in the backfield. 
And out of the shotgun, Chich takes the step. He's going to run, coming right to the near side, and is tackled at the 45. So, tackled there. I don't have a number 20 for JFK. TJ Rivera is 21, but that's about it. So gain of one, second down and nine. Petrillo out of the gun, quick throw to the left. He completes it, 45-50. That's Wanza Fitzpatrick in the North Brunswick territory. Gets to about the 41 before he is tackled there. David Lee on the tackle. So Fitzpatrick getting his first catch. Ball at the 42-yard line, first and 10. Petrillo. Out of the gun, takes the snap, drops back, looking, throws it left, and it's complete. Com completes it to Sean Brahini. Brahini making the catch and going over towards the far sideline. Goes to the 29. Gain of 13, first and 10. Raiders in a no huddle, and we get a whistle. Timeout, JFK. Timeout, Mustang. That's their final timeout of the first half. And so, JFK calls their final timeout of the half. So, we'll take a short break here. A minute 20 to go in the half, 14 to 7. Here's your score. We'll take a short break, and we'll come back in just a moment with Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. This message is for all of you sitting in the passenger seat, and apologies if it gets a little uncomfortable, but how does it feel to be at the mercy of someone who thinks a random text is more important than your life? Someone who takes their eyes off the road while speeding along in a three-ton hunk of steel. Freaky, right? Well, why not just ask them to stop? Or better yet, volunteer to text for them. It might be a little awkward, but believe me, you'll live. Learn more at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. All right, we come back now off the timeout. One minute, 20 seconds to go here in the second quarter. JFK 14, North Brunswick 7. The Raiders have first and 10 on the JFK 29-yard line. Christian Petrillo will work out of the shotgun with Brandon Outlaw to his left and then Bailey behind Chich. Two wide receivers left. Petrillo takes the snap, pitches to Bailey, now pitches back to Fitzpatrick. We'll check that. That is Alderman. And crosses the 25, gets down to about the 21, it looks like. So a little trickery from the Raiders. Raiders in a no huddle. 55 seconds to go in the half. Ball on the 21, second and two. Petrillo out of the gun. Outlaw to his left. Takes the snap. Drops back. Left-handed throw. Deep end zone. And it is caught. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. In between two defenders. That is indeed Miles Bailey. Page 7, Section 3 of the bailout plan for Miles Bailey. It's 14 to 13, pending the extra point. So Bailey with the nifty catch in between two defenders. Aaron R for the extra point, patrol to hold. His kick is good. So with 44 seconds. Christian Petrillo to Miles Bailey for a 21-yard touchdown. We are tied at 14, North Brunswick and JFK. We'll break. We'll come back with Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. The King James Radio Network is now accepting inquiries this summer to broadcast games on our King James Junior channel. If you have a youth baseball, basketball, or football game in the state of New Jersey that you want to be heard on the air, please send an email to kingjamesradio one at gmail.com with the date and time that you're looking for, and we'll let you know if we can make it. Inquiries are not guaranteed to be accepted based on a combination of availability and first come, first serve. We look forward to broadcasting your game 
on King James Jr., a channel of the King James Radio Network at jamesisking.com. Aaron R. ready to kick off here, and this will be a squid kick and goes to about the 32-yard line taken by one of the up men for JFK. And he'll bring it back to the 40. So that would be Kalmar. Alex Kalmar. So JFK will have it. First and 10 from the 41-yard line with 38 seconds left here in the first half. We are tied at 14. JFK has one timeout. The Raiders have two. The funny part is JFK used two timeouts on one play in the first quarter, but they've been able to hang on to their one timeout, which could come in useful here. Wide to the left is Leacock. Out of the shotgun here will be Lee. On first down, high snap, and hands off, going crossing the 45. Crossing the 45 is number 27, Philip Lindsay. So gain of four, you're looking at second and six. So Lindsay will be in the backfield here. Lindsay is a sophomore. Four seconds left in the half. Jeff came in a hurry. Two, one, gets the snap off, does Lee, and he'll go ahead and heave it right side, end zone, and knocked away, incomplete. At about the 17-yard line. Mwanza Fitzpatrick defending that as the pass was intended for Leacock along the far sideline. Fitzpatrick knocking it away. And that is the first half. And so here on homecoming night for JFK, we are tied at 14 here at the half, North Brunswick and JFK. So we will take ourselves a long break. And when we come back, we'll get you some halftime numbers and get you to the second half and all of that coming up in just a little bit. This is North Brunswick Raiders football, and it's on the King James Radio Network. Your radio home for North Brunswick Raiders sports, Timothy Christian Basketball, Restoration Place, Wednesday night with NFL Female, the Jersey Basketball Association, and more is the King James Radio Network. Welcome to another edition of This Date in Raiders Football History. We go back to October 13th, 1999, when the Raiders defeated St. Thomas by a score of 33-6. to Rob Ibrahim, Gary Langstrath, Frank Piazza and John McGrath each scored touchdowns in that game for the Raiders. McGrath actually had two as North Brunswick would roll over St. Thomas. In 2006, the Raiders shut out Colonia 21 to nothing behind quarterback Camille Haig and a touchdown pass when he also ran for one. Nick Gambino scored to help North Brunswick's cause as well. Gambino finished with 165 yards of total offense on the night. Jason Airy made 15 tackles on the defensive side of the ball. In honor of the 1992 North Brunswick Raiders and the 25th anniversary of their first division championship, the Raiders pounced on Colonia 55-20 to to go 4-1-1 and on the season. Darrell Banks picked up 203 yards with three touchdowns, ranging from 30 yards, 50 yards, and 52 yards. Eric Cunningham also had a big day on the ground with 102 yards. Craig Rubenstein kicked seven extra points for the Raiders in this one. Six different Raiders scored touchdowns, and North Brunswick put up 21 points in the fourth quarter to put the cherry on top. That is this date in Raiders football history. We'll be back with more of Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. This week at Restoration Place, are you ready for the fight? By First Lady Darlene Baysmore. Are you ready for the fight? Because it's going to be a fight. Yes. We're in spiritual warfare even right now as we speak. Restoration Place, every Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern at jamesisking.com. This is David Straminski. Raiders football is on your radio at jamesisking.com. We come back live to Raiders football on the King James Radio Network, and so the homecoming ceremonies are now done as we get ready for the second half. North Brunswick and JFK, we are tied at 14, as I mentioned before the break. All of the scoring 
took place in the second quarter. JFK would score first as Maven Garced would score on a four-yard touchdown run with 5.06 remaining in the second quarter to put JFK up 7-0. North Brunswick would counter, and they would answer back on the very next drive. As a matter of fact, it only took one play for junior quarterback Christian Petrillo, and he answered back. Petrillo on a 48-yard touchdown run, tied the game at 7, of course, with Aaron R's extra point, tied the game at 7, and so that was with 442 remaining in the first half. JFK would come back, and they would put up another score as the Mustangs, David Lee, would throw a touchdown pass to DeAndre Carter in the left corner of the end zone here with 2.10 remaining in the second quarter. That made it 14-7, JFK. And then North Brunswick would answer back with 44 seconds left in the half. Christian Petrillo would thread the needle through two defenders to Miles Bailey in the back of the end zone, the middle of the end zone in the back there. And Bailey would hold on for the catch. And Aaron R's extra point tied the game at 14. So, so quickly some halftime stats for JFK, David Lee. 9 of 11 for 162 yards with a touchdown. Six carries for 21 yards for Lee. Maven Garcet, three carries for 13 yards, two receptions for 33 and a touchdown. Alex Kalmar, three carries for eight yards. Will Smith, three carries for 26. DeAndre Carter, six receptions, 71 yards and a touchdown. Damari Leacock, three receptions for 58 yards. JFK has 230 yards of offense. Christian Petrillo for the Raiders, 5 of 7, 72 yards with a touchdown pass. Four carries for 56 yards and a touchdown. Miles Bailey, seven carries for 30 yards, one reception for 21 with a touchdown. Amir Alderman, one carry for eight. Manny Herrera, one reception, 21 yards, one carry for 10. Sean Brahini, one reception, 13 yards. Wanda Fitzpatrick, one reception for three yards. Kawana Dolo, one carry for four. And Brandon Outlaw, one reception for 14 yards. So... We get ready for the second half. Kareem Hefaz will kick off from right to left. The Raiders will get the ball here to start the second half. Again, three men back deep for North Brunswick. JFK in the green jerseys with the silver numbers, the white helmets. With the Mustangs logo on the side, they go from right to left. The Raiders in their white jerseys with the gold numbers trimmed in blue, blue pants, gold socks. The blue helmet with the double gold stripe down the middle and the player jersey number on the side. And the Raiders going from left to right. All right, so he fast kicks this off. This is a squib kick from the 40. It'll be picked up at the 22. And now I've got a hole. Manny Herrera, 25-30, 35-40. 45 spins at the 50 in the JFK territory. Down at the 45-yard line. Manny Herrera on the return. So the Raiders will have very good field position here to start the second half. First and 10 on the JFK 45-yard line. Nine seconds gone by here in the third quarter. Again, we're tied at 14. Glad you're with us at jamesisking.com. Also on Facebook under the name King James Radio Network and on Twitter at King James Radio 1. Kwana Dolo has been seeing some time in the backfield here. House formation for the Raiders. Miles Bailey is the deep back. Remy Barbarina is in at quarterback. Not Christian Petrillo. Barbarina takes the snap. Hands off to Bailey. He goes outside left 40. 35, 30. Left side 25, 20. 15, 10. Five touchdown North Brunswick Raiders. Can you believe it? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a flag down. Flag down back at the 42-yard line. Holding against the Raiders. It's going to come back. Well, a lot to talk about there. Miles Bailey had a potential 45-yard touchdown run, but that will be negated on a holding call. But maybe even more importantly than that, Remy Barbarina is in at quarterback for the Raiders. Ball comes all the way back to the Raider 48-yard line. So the penalty... Seven yards from the line of scrimmage. So, again, house formation. And Barbarina out of the shotgun handoff. Bailey dropped it, and it is picked up. 
The exchange did not go well there. The Raiders do have it. Quana Dolo picked it up. And he got it to midfield. And so a gain of two. So you're looking at second and 15 now from midfield. Again, house formation. Again, Barbarina in at quarterback, which means something's up with Christian Petrillo. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap, hands off to Bailey, goes left to the outside, 50, 45, 40, 35, far sideline, and he's pushed out of bounds. Inside the 25-yard line, another big run from Miles Bailey. Two, Bailey. Bailey getting that speed around the edge. No flags there. It's at the 24-yard line, gain of 26 for Bailey. First and 10 for the Raiders from the 24. Remy Barbarena in at quarterback for the Raiders. House formation, Dolo and Gerald Wallace surrounding Barbarena. Out of the shotgun, hands off. This is outlaw and he is knocked down at the 25. David Lee, his numerical counterpart on the tackle. So, no gain on that play. It'll be second down and 10. Barbarina is a sophomore. Juanza Fitzpatrick checks in the game. He's wide right. Barbarina in a house formation. The deep back is Bailey out of the gun. Fakes the, the hands off to Bailey. Tries to go left and still on his feet. Breaks a tackle. 25, 20 to the near side. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. Miles Bailey. Bailey. The tackle. It looked like Bailey was going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage. But the bailout plan would have none of it. Page 8. Eighth rushing touchdown of the year for Bailey, and the Raiders take their first lead of the night at 20 to 14. What is it that Miles Bailey cannot do with the football? Christian Petrillo will hold, so Chich at least at holding duties. Aaron R. will kick, and it looks like it's a fake. Petrillo gets up. He's going to throw it at least. Throws it left side and knocked away. Incomplete. Two point conversion and the knocked away there by Damari Leacock. So the two-point conversion no good, but with 10.02 to go in the third quarter, North Brunswick takes their first lead of the night. They lead it 20-14 to 14 over JFK. We will take ourselves a break and come back. In just a moment, this is North Brunswick Raiders Football on the King James Radio Network. Dana and Lisa here from Our Turf Football to tell you that the Our Turf podcast is up and running for the 2017 football season. Did you know that women make up over 45% of all NFL fans and counting? Here at Our Turf, we have our own take on what's happening around the National Football League with special features, previews, reports from our official fan reporters covering each team, and interviews with players and personalities who have the scoop on what's happening. Women are in the know when it comes to football, and it's time the rest of the world knew it too. Our Turf Football is every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the King James Radio Network at jamesisking.com. We come back now to live action. Aaron R. set to kick off here for the Raiders. 20-14, 20-14, to 14, North Brunswick takes the lead. 10-02 left in the third quarter. Two men back deep for JFK. This will be a squid kick, and it'll be picked up by one of the up men here. And coming to the near side to the 40 and forced out of bounds. Roughly forced out of bounds. Number 26, that's Jamal, Jamal Singleton. So it'll be the 43-yard line. So the Mustangs will try to answer first and 10 here from their own 43. 9.55 to go in the third quarter. Raiders lead it 20-14. to Well, the streak of holding opponents to 10 points or less is now done. It ends at 3. 
David Lee will work out of the shotgun here on first and ten. Coming in motion. And will fake the handoff to Lee and maybe gets a yard or two. Samad Wingo on the stop. That was Lindsay in, Lindsay rather in motion. Philip Lindsay was coming in motion. So, yep, got a yard on that did Lee. Second and nine to the 44. Nine and a half to go here in the third. And again, the Raiders get it 20 to 14. Two wide receivers to each side. Well, two wide receivers right. Lee empty backfield. So Lee calling signals out of the gun. Takes the snap, quick drop, throws it over the middle and, a, and complete. Almost a slant. Intended for DeAndre Carter. Manny Herrera on the coverage. So third and nine from the 44. Clock stops at 9-10. Left in the third. So the Raiders. This is where, if you're Mike Seipot, you want your defense to, to make a stand here. Third and nine from the 44. Four wide receivers, two to each side. Empty backfield for Lee. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap. Three-step drop, and he is hit as he throws, incomplete. Straminski, or check that, was that? Yeah, that was Straminski. So the Raiders trying to get some pressure on Lee. So it'll be fourth down. Lee is now nine of, he is nine of, let's see, he was nine of 12 for 162 yards in the first half, so now he's nine of 14. Lee will punt. Back at his own 28 is Bailey. Lee gets this one away, and, oh, it's a fake. Lee is running for days on end. Flag down here. Lee coming down the left side. Got it all the way inside the Raider 25, but there is a flag down. From all indications, it's a... From all indications, it looks like a sideline warning on, on JFK, but don't quote me on that. Oh, they're going to bring it back, so it's got to be more than that. It looks like they're going to spot it at the North Brunswick 37. I was going to say, I would have to ask Mr. Official. All right, so. But in any event, the fake punt works. Lee. Able to get a first down for JFK. It's at the North Brunswick 37. Lee will work out of the shotgun on first and 10. Out of the gun, takes the snap, throws it left, completes it at the 31. Amir Alderman on the tackle. DeAndre Carter on the catch. That's DeAndre Carter's seventh reception tonight. Ball is spotted at the 20, at the 31. So, yep, second and four from the 31. 8-13 left in the third. 21, 20 to 14, North Brunswick. Empty backfield, two wides to the right. Lee out of the shotgun. And now Garcet in motion, and Lee tries to go up the middle, and he is hit initially at the line by G.D. Macellis. Straminski finishes it off. And the Raiders say they've recovered a fumble here. The ball might have popped loose. But it looks like JFK still has it. So loss of one for Lee. It'll be third and five. 7.33 to go here in the third. And again, the Raiders lead it 20 to 14. So DeAndre, now check that, that is Leacock going wide, Kamari Leacock going wide to the right. Lee out of the shotgun, and now we get a whistle. Looks like we got a timeout, JFK. 
So the Mustangs will call a timeout here with 7.13 left in the third. Your score is North Brunswick 20, JFK 14. As the Raiders try to hold on here to see if they can get themselves a victory. So we will take a break and we will come back here in just a moment. You're listening to North Brunswick Raiders football and it's on the King James Radio Network. Off the timeout, third and five from the North Brunswick 32. And Lee takes the snap, goes up the middle, crosses the 30, but that's about it. He's driven back after that. Marcellus, along with Straminski, throw in an assist from Tyrell Pereira. Ball spotted at the 29. Gain of three, which brings us to fourth and two for JFK from the North Brunswick 29. 6.40 to go in the third quarter. North Brunswick 20, JFK 14. Two wide receivers to the left, including Carter. Lee with Lee's next to him out of the shotgun. Pump fakes, now throws it. Left side, he's got Carter open. Makes the kick. No, dropped it. Along the near sideline, incomplete. And JFK will turn it over on downs. Alderman and Bailey on the coverage. But Carter had, didn't really have anybody near him. He just didn't make the catch. Now, if he, even if he did make the catch, then the question became, would he have stayed in bounds? But all for naught, the Raiders will have it. First and 10 from the 29-yard line. And so... Out of the shotgun, Barbarina takes the snap, hands off to Bailey. He goes left, 30, 35, trying to run over a man. Carter makes the tackle at about the 36. So Miles Bailey gains seven there. Second down in three coming from the 36. And again, the story here is Christian Petrillo not in this game. Remy Barmarina is in at quarterback. House formation. Dolo to the left. Gerald Waller to the right. Bailey the deep back on second down. Barmarina takes a step. Fake the handoff. Dropped by Bailey. Picks it up and breaks one tackle. But he is tackled. Flag comes down. Tackle near the 40. About the 39. Number 54, Bernardo Abreu on the tackle for JFK. So, so there was a flag down holding against North Brunswick it'll come back so whatever's going on with Christian Petrillo right now he can still he's still well enough to come out and hold the snap on an extra point but whatever it is is not allowing him to play the quarterback position in the meantime the ball is all the way back at the 26-yard line. So you're looking at second and 13 here for the Raiders. Bunch formation to the right. And now we get a whistle. Timeout, North Brunswick. So the Raiders will call time with 5.08 left in the third quarter. North Brunswick 20, JFK 14. We'll break. We'll come back on the King James Radio Network. We come back to Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. Five minutes, eight seconds left in the third quarter. North Brunswick 20, JFK 14. Second and 13, North Brunswick from their own 26. Remy Barbarina in at quarterback. Bunch formation to the right. Bailey to the right of Barbarina. Remy takes the snap and hands off to Bailey. Trying to go around the edge to the left. 30, left sideline 35. Out of bounds near the 40. Miles Bailey close to another first down. And it is indeed, they move the chains. They'll spot it at the 42, 16 yard gain for Bailey. Miles Bailey, even more so now with Petrillo out, is being asked to carry the bulk of the load here. First and 10 from the 42. 
Bunch formation to the right. Trips to the right. And Barbarina takes the snap. Hands off to Bailey. Crosses the 45. Midfield. Right side. 45. 40. Right side again. 30. And Gene pulled out of bounds at the 25. Garcet forces him out. Another big run from Miles Bailey. That's a 33-yard run from Bailey. First and 10 at the JFK 25. Bailey is basically putting the offense on his back. House formation here. Gerald Waller to the left, Dole to the right, Bailey the deep back. Barbarina out of the gun, takes the snap, hands off to Bailey. He'll try to go left, and he's going to be tackled here. Maybe got to the line of scrimmage, that's about it. David Lee, along with, along with number 21, T.J. Rivera, getting in on the stop. So a loss of one for Bailey, second and 11 now. From the 26. Can Miles Bailey put up 200 yards for a third straight game? Wanda Fitzpatrick wide to the left. House formation around Barbarina. Out of the shotgun. Barbarina takes the snap. Hands off here to Outlaw. He goes up the middle. Brandon Outlaw. Abreu on the tackle. Gets it to about the 21. Gain of five. You're looking at third and six now for the Raiders from the JFK 21-yard line. Miles Bailey will check back in along with Outlaw and Nikhil Jarawala. 3.42 to go here in the third. Raiders trying to extend their lead and run some time off of this clock. It'll be third down and six from the JFK 21. House formation, and we get a whistle. Delay of game called on the Raiders. So a delay of game called on North Brunswick. And that'll bring it back to the 26, so now third and 11. Another third down penalty that North Brunswick could do without. House formation, Barbarina takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolling left. Barbarina looks, throws, too high, incomplete. Intended for Outlaw on the left side of the field. And that'll bring up fourth down. So fourth and 11 from the 26. With 3.18 to go here in the third. Too far away for a field goal. And maybe the Raiders want to think about it. They're going to call time. So timeout Raiders. If I'm correct, that's North Brunswick's second timeout. No, first. We'll figure it out after the break. 20 to 14, Raiders lead it with 318 left here in the third. We'll break and we'll come back with Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. This message is for all of you sitting in the passenger seat. And apologies if it gets a little uncomfortable, but how does it feel to be at the mercy of someone who thinks a random text is more important than your life? Someone who takes their eyes off the road while speeding along in a three-ton hunk of steel. Freaky, right? Well, why not just ask them to stop? Or better yet, volunteer to text for them. It might be a little awkward, but believe me, you'll live. Learn more at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The Raiders do indeed have one timeout remaining. 3.18 left in the third quarter. North Brunswick 20, JFK 14. North Brunswick will have a fourth and 11 from the JFK 26. Too far for a field goal. You're looking at 43 yards. Remy Barbarina in at quarterback. Dolo to his right, Bailey behind him. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap. Pitches it to Bailey. Halfback option. He's going to throw it right side. And jump ball in the end zone. And it is caught. Aaron Orr. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. Aaron Orr. Leaping over his defender. I believe that was Leacock on the coverage. 
And R just leaped over and caught it. Aaron R with his first touchdown catch of the year. It goes for 26 yards. And the Raiders take a two score lead at 26 to 14. I asked a few minutes ago, what can Miles Bailey not do with the football? Well, <laughs> and we're going to get a whistle here. Timeout Raiders. That's their last. That is their third and final timeout with 3.10 left in the third quarter. So the Raiders are done. They're out of timeouts. They do have a two-score lead, but they'll have to make it hold up without any timeouts. So we'll break here. And we'll come back with the extra point or thereabouts in a moment. This is Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. All right, it looks like the Raiders are going to go for two here. Barbarina under center takes the snap. He'll hand off going right side into the end zone for the two-point conversion is Miles Bailey. Oh, flag down. That would have made it 28 to 14, but let's see what the flag is. The Raiders have been hit with penalties tonight. I couldn't quite catch that. Some type of motion penalty against North Brunswick. So it'll come back to about the eight yard line. And the Raiders will have to do it again. 310 left in the third. North Brunswick 26. JFK 14, Miles Bailey with his first varsity touchdown pass to Aaron R. And so, Barbarena out of the shotgun, Bailey to his right. Barbarena calling signals, and now a flag comes flying. Delay of game, North Brunswick. And you, these are the penalties, even a you know, two-point conversion, you, you don't want to be backed up, you know, to your 13-yard line. And that's where the Raiders find themselves. So here we go. Take three, two-point conversion. Barbarena out of the gun, and Bailey lost his balance and therefore false start. Bailey tried to go ahead of the snap. It'll come back to the 18-yard line. Three penalties here on the Raiders and trying to convert for two. Take four. From the 18-yard line, Barbarina out of the shotgun. Bailey to his right, takes the snap, dropping back the pass, rolling left, trying to run. Barbarina throws it, end zone, knocked away. In the back of the end zone, incomplete. Maven Garcet on the coverage. Looked like they were trying to go to GD Macellus. So, two-point conversion, no good. 3-10 left to go in at third, and North Brunswick leads it 26-14. to But the, keep in mind, the Raiders have no timeouts left. Well... Even without Christian Petrillo in there, again, as long as it's the Miles Bailey show, the Raiders seem to be okay offensively. But now defensively, can North Brunswick make it stick? So we're going to find out. So Aaron R. will kick off here from left to right. Two men back deep. For JFK, Carter and Leacock. Carter on the near side. This will be a squib kick. Picked up by an up man at the 35. He gets it to the 45. And is tackled there. Sean Brahini on the tackle. Number 88 for JFK. Number 88 is yep, Nicholas yep, Johanovic. He's a 5'10 junior. 
So the Mustangs will have it first and 10 now from their own 46-yard line with 3.04 to go in the third quarter. So David Lee and the Mustangs with some work to do. Philip Lindsay is to the right of Lee, and now he'll come to the left of Lee. Lee takes the snap, quick throw to the right, completes it at midfield, and tackled at about the 47. Brahini and Outlaw on the tackle. The pass went to Leacock. And again, Lee, they're, they're throwing it. JFK has thrown it a lot more than what I thought they would. I thought they'd try to run the ball a lot more. But that was a gain of seven, second and three for the North Brunswick 47-yard line. Empty backfield for Lee here. And now Garcet comes in motion to the far side. Out of the gun, Lee takes the snap. And Lee barely, maybe getting back to the line of scrimmage before Tyrell Pereira can get to him. So they'll spot it at the 48, third and four. They'll call it a loss of one. 147 to go in a third. Empty backfield. Four wides, Lee out of the gun, quick throw to the left, and pass is incomplete. Intended for Carter. Amir Alderman on the coverage. And so that'll be fourth down. So we'll see what JFK decides to do here. Fourth and four from the North Brunswick 48. So do you punt and try to pin North Brunswick deep? No, that is not what they're going to do. Lee is out there. They're, looks like they're going to go for it. So JFK will go for it here, fourth and four from the 48. Lindsay to the right of Lee. Out of the shotgun, Lee takes the snap, dropping back, and he'll heave it. Deep ball down the middle, incomplete. Overthrew, overthrew Garcet by just a stride. Manny Herrera on the coverage. And so JFK will turn it over on downs. And North Brunswick will have it first and 10 from their own 48-yard line. So first and 10 with a minute 34 to go here in the third quarter. Raiders have not put up 30 points in quite some time. House formation around Barbarena. Out of the shotgun, Barbarina takes the snap, hands off to Bailey. He goes left, 50, trying to break a tackle at the 48. He has stood up there, Lee trying to bring him down and strip the ball in the process, but Bailey will hang on. Bailey tackles by the Mustangs, led by number five, Bailey Lee. Now spotted at the 49. So gain of three, second and seven. From the 49-yard line, 105 to go in the third quarter. So now kind of just the opposite of what you had in the first half where the Raiders were up-tempo, maybe slowing it down just a little bit just to run a few seconds off. House formation, Barbarina out of the gun. Takes the snap and hands off going left. And this looks like it's Bailey. He breaks a tackle. 30 out of bounds. Miles Bailey. Bailey using his speed to get around the edge. And the ball at the 36. But we get a flag. And again, the Raiders have had a million penalties tonight. And this will be one more. Holding North Brunswick. Bailey probably would have 200 yards by now if it wasn't for all these penalties. So it's at the spot of the foul, which puts it 10 yards from the spot of the foul, which puts it at the JFK 46. So in actuality, it's second down and four. Second and four from the 46. Barbarina out of the gun. 
takes the snap, gives it to Bailey around left side, 40, left sideline, 35, still going down at the 30, and he is wrapped up there. Damon Washington on the tackle. Bailey stayed in bounds, which is good news for the Raiders. So, ball is at the 30, gain of 16 for Bailey, first and 10 North Brunswick. 26 to 14 Raiders, 23 seconds left in the third. It's been all North Brunswick here in the second half. Barbarena in the middle of a house formation here. Dolo and Jarawala with Bailey behind him out of the shotgun. Hands off to Bailey, spins out of a tackle, and he's going to be driven back. And Bailey is swarmed at the 35. Nowhere to go. So this will be a loss, and that will be the final play of the third quarter. They'll spot it at the 36. So a loss of six. It'll be second and 16 from the 36 when we come back to the fourth quarter. We have played three here at Island. North Brunswick 26, JFK 14. We will take a break, and we will come back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. You're listening to North Brunswick Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. We come back here to Island as we start the fourth quarter. 26 to 14 is your score. North Brunswick leading by two scores. They have a second and 16 on the JFK 36 yard line. Again, Remy Barbarina is in at quarterback instead of Christian Petrillo. Miles Bailey to the left of Barbarina out of the shotgun and hands off to Bailey going around the right edge. 30, right side, 25, outside the numbers, 20. Dances his way to the 15 and is forced out of bounds there. Another big run from Miles Bailey. Looks like they're going to mark it at the 16. Gain of 20. So Bailey continues to pile up the yards, making a bid for his third straight 200-yard game. I'm pretty sure he's at 100. I just haven't done the math yet. But first down and 10 from the 16-yard line. Barbarina takes the snap out of the gun, hands off to Bailey. Ball tackle right, 10, 5, and not goes into the end zone. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. Page 9 of the bailout plan for Miles Bailey. His ninth rushing touchdown of the year. Already had his second receiving touchdown. So his second rushing touchdown of the night, third overall. A 16-yard run, 32-14 Raiders pending the extra point. The last time the Raiders scored 30 in a game, you have to go back to three years ago against East Brunswick. Barbarina under center as the Raiders will go for two. And takes the snap and fakes the handoff. He's going to try to run off tackle right. And he's probably going to be down at about the one. Oh, no, they signaled good. I thought they stopped him at the one, but wait a minute. I saw the referee on the far sideline there. Okay, so, yep. Holding against JFK is declined, so two-point conversion good. So the Raiders lead at 34-14 to 14 on the two-point conversion from Barbarena. And the Raiders, this second half has been all North Brunswick. They have scored 20 unanswered points here in the second half, 27 overall. If you go back to the first half. JFK had a 14-7 lead in this game, and the Raiders have scored 27 unanswered points. With 11-20 remaining in the fourth quarter, 34-13 is your score. 
And North Brunswick well on their way to their fourth straight win. So Aaron R. will kick. Back deep for JFK. Is Carter. He'll go ahead and let this go over his head and go into the end zone for a touchback. So JFK will have it first and 10 from their own 20 with 11.20 to go. So, again, even without Christian Petrillo, and you definitely, you know, the Raiders have the bye week coming up next week, so it'll give Chich a chance to get a break and rest that ankle if that is indeed what's keeping him out. The Raiders play again in two weeks at Perth Amboy. The Raiders scored 40 against East Brunswick on September 27th, 2014. This is their highest point total since then. At 30, 35, and he is taken out from the knees by Mwanza Fitzpatrick at the 31. Philip Lindsay. So gain of 11. First and 10 for the Mustangs from the 31. 11 minutes to go in the fourth. So Lindsay set up behind Lee here. Bunch formation to the right for JFK. Hand off Lindsay and maybe gets a yard here before he is tackled. Looks like Samad Wingo was the first one there. Ball is spotted at the 33. Gain of two, so second and eight from the 33-yard line. So, of course, North Brunswick will... Continue to hopefully have a good standing in Central Jersey Group 5. They started this weekend in fourth place in Central Jersey Group 5, which would give them a home playoff game if the season were to end before tonight. South Brunswick is in fifth place. Lee out of the shotgun, takes the snap, and they're going to give it on an end around here to Leacock, and he makes it all the way to the 45 before he is tackled. Looks like Macellus... Sellis and Wingo getting there. So 12-yard gain to the 45, first and 10 from the 45-yard line. So North Brunswick looking for their first state playoff bid since 2011 and also looking for their first state playoff bid ever in Central Jersey Group 5. The last time they made it, they were in Group 4. So Lee out of the gun. Takes the snap, drops back. He's going to heave it right side, and he's got a man here. Nope, incomplete. Ran an outlaw on the coverage, and Leacock comes up holding his right foot. And Leacock is shaking up on the sideline there. But it'll be second down as he's helped up. He's going to go back in there. Second down and 10 JFK from their own 45-yard line. 9.22 to go in the fourth. North Brunswick 34, JFK 14. The Raiders with 27 unanswered points. Lee, out of the gun, takes the snap, hands off to Lindsey, and back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The big dogs, Howard Hernandez, right there to stop him. Hernandez, a senior. Looks like they'll give him a yard. Third and nine from the 46 with 8.57 left. And so, you know, Mike Sipout, I'm sure, probably was not very happy with the first half, but he's got to be smiling here in the second half. So, Lee with Lindsey to his right. Out of the shotgun, low snap, takes it, and he's going to go throw a deep ball over the middle, and ooh, 
incomplete. Wanza Fitzpatrick gave a pop there to Garcet. And Garcet is down. Deep throw over the middle to the left hash. It looked like Garcet was going to catch it until Fitzpatrick popped him and the ball. And so, so Garcet is down. 8.32 to go here in the fourth. And again, Wanda Fitzpatrick, after missing three games, you know, he wants to make sure that the coaches, you know, it makes an impression. And you know, unfortunately, it comes at the expense of Garcet. So 8.32 remaining in the fourth. We'll take a break here for the injury timeout. And then we'll come back here to JFK. And we will do all of that in just a moment. You're listening to North Brunswick Raiders football, and it's on the King James Radio Network. All right, so Garced comes off. Meanwhile, Lee will punt here on fourth down. Nobody back there for the Raiders as this one, they'll let it roll inside the 10 down towards the 5. It was fourth and nine for JFK from their own 46-yard line. Lee punts it away. And so the Raiders will have it first down and 10 here. We'll see how much longer Miles Bailey stays in this game. Currently, unofficially, Bailey has 193 yards on the night. Just seven yards away from his third straight 200-yard game on the ground. So first and ten from the five. Looks like an eye formation. Barbarina under center. Barbarina with a long count here. Takes the snap. He'll hand off to Outlaw. Brandon Outlaw to the right side. 10. Following a block. 20. Far sideline. 25. And forced out of bounds near to 30. Looks like Bernardo Abreu is forcing him out. Flag down though. And so North Brunswick called for another hold. That'll be half the distance to the goal line. So ball is back around the three. It'll be first and 12 from the three yard line. So the Raiders will try it again. Looks like Bailey is done for the night as well. Barbarina under center, high formation. Takes the snap, hands off to Outlaw. He goes off tackle right, crosses the 10, maybe gets to the 11 before he has stood up there. So Brandon Outlaw on the run. So I think that's probably going to be it for Bailey. And again, another near 200-yard performance. It'll be second down. Looks like the ball is at the 10-yard line, so we'll call it second and five from the 10. Seven, 18, and counting left in the fourth. 34-14 North Brunswick. House formation around Barbarena. And hand off to Outlaw, and he's wrapped up in the backfield. Making the tackle was Abreu. So they'll spot it at the seven. Loss of three. Third and eight from the seven-yard line. 
But for the Raiders, the clock continues to run with 6.40 left in the fourth quarter. Winds up Fitzpatrick, lined up wide to the left. Third down, house formation for Barbarina. Barbarina shifting back and forth, left and right, out of the shotgun. Takes the snap, hands off the ball, cuts it back to the right inside. And he is wrapped up. Short gain. Again, Abreu on the stop, so short gain for Outlaw there. So the Raiders playing it conservative with a 20-point lead and six minutes left. No gain there for Outlaw. It'll be fourth down and eight from the seven. Aaron R. will punt about seven yards deep in the end zone. Back at the 41 for JFK. Can't quite tell who that is. R takes the snap and punts this away, a high punt. And it will take a Raider bounce to about the 43, 40, and tackled there is Carter. Nikhil Jarawala on the stop, Jerry's World. 5.22 to go. Here in the fourth, first and 10 JFK. They'll have it in North Brunswick territory. This is probably what JFK wanted to do earlier in the game, is try to gain field position. But first and 10 from the North Brunswick 36. So David Lee, still in at quarterback. Philip Lindsay. Behind him here, out of the shotgun, Lee takes the snap and hands off to Lindsey, crosses the 35-30, and is tackled there. Manny Herrera on the stop. So the Raiders still have their starters in on defense. They get it to the 29, so gain a seven, second and three. Clock runs with 4.56 remaining. So Lee, out of the gun, takes the snap and hands off to Lindsey, and he's going to be tackled in the backfield. Samad Wingo making the stop. Jose Rosado helping to wrap up. So the ball spotted at the 31, loss of two, third and five. With 420 remaining in the fourth. So the Raiders, well on their way to their fourth straight win, which would put them at four and two. As Lee will go out of the gun here on third and five, takes the snap and fakes the handoff, throws it, and collision on the catch. Wanza Fitzpatrick with another big hit. This time, it was Dennis Howard, it looks like. Dennis Howard is the injured player for the Mustangs. And so he will be attended to Fitzpatrick with another big hit there. Howard is shaken up, so 358 remaining here in the fourth. 34 to 14 Raiders. We will break and we will come back here to JFK in just a moment. You're listening to Raiders Football, and it's on the King James Radio Network. Dana and Lisa here from Our Turf Football to tell you that the Our Turf podcast is up and running for the 2017 football season. Did you know that women make up over 45% of all NFL fans and counting here at Our Turf? We have our own take on what's happening around the National Football League with special features, previews, reports from our official fan reporters covering each team, and interviews with players and personalities who have the scoop on what's happening. Women are in the know when it comes to football, and it's time the rest of the world knew it too. 
Our Turf Football is every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the King James Radio Network at jamesisking.com. All right, so that pass to Howard was knocked away by Fitzpatrick. It'll be fourth and five here. High snap for Lee. He tries to escape here up the middle, but he's going to be held back here. So he will not get the first down. JFK will turn it over on downs. Tyshawn Parson, number 76, on the stop of junior. Meanwhile, Dennis Howard does come off on his own power. So Mwanza Fitzpatrick with two big hits tonight for the Raiders. Meanwhile, the Raiders will take over on their own 30-yard line with 3.49 to go here in the fourth. It'll be first and 10. And again, Remy Barbarina in at quarterback. And it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. If I'm correct, I believe North Brunswick called it, which would be their final timeout. So, Remy Barber, Remy, Remy Barbarina has been in the entire second half at quarterback for the Raiders. Christian Petrillo has not returned. Not sure the specific nature of of what's going on with Chich, but perhaps it's that ankle that's been bothering him this this entire season, basically since opening night against St. Joe's, is where he originally injured it. So the Raiders have a bye week next week, so Chich can heal up and hopefully be back in two weeks against Perth Amboy. Meanwhile, the Raiders will have it first and 10 from their own 30-yard line with 349 remaining in the fourth. Barbarina will work out of the shotgun here. Takes the snap, hands off, and not getting much of anywhere was G.D. Macellus. Abreu on the tackle. So it'll be second down, ball back at the 26. Loss of four, second and 14. 324 remaining. Raiders will just try to run it out here. As Barbarina checks back in. DeMonte Blount. Blount is in. And looks like he's going to get the handoff. He stiff arms a man, goes right towards the far sideline, and Blount goes out of bounds near the 30. So DeMonte Blount on the play. Ball is spotted at the 29. Gain of three, third and 11 from the 29. Clock runs with 2.38 to go in the fourth quarter. North Brunswick 34, JFK 14. Barbarina with Blount to his left. Out of the shotgun, fakes the handoff, runs left. He's got room, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Remy Barbarina, touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. 71 yards. You can't make it up. Remy Barbarena's first varsity touchdown goes for 71 yards to the house. Well, Barbarena showing off his speed. It's now 40 to 14 Raiders. The Raiders will go for two here. Barbarina takes the snap. He's just going to take a knee, and that'll do it. He's just going to take a knee, and that's it. So two-point conversion, no good. And with 2.14 remaining in the fourth, North Brunswick 40, JFK 14. We will break. 
And we'll come back in a moment with North Brunswick Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. This week at Restoration Place, are you ready for the fight by First Lady Darlene Bazemore? Are you ready for the fight? Because it's going to be a fight. We're in spiritual warfare even right now as we speak. Restoration Place, every Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern at jamesisking.com. Well, backup quarterback, Remy Remy Berberina, going 71 yards from right to left for a North Brunswick touchdown. His first varsity touchdown, 40-14 to North Brunswick, 2-14 remaining. In the fourth, the Raiders will win their fourth straight game. JFK will drop to 1-5, having lost their fifth straight. And a kick from Aaron R. It's a high kick, caught at about the six-yard line. This is Carter to the 15, dances his way Back towards the middle of the field, 20, and tackled at about the 23. So Brandon Outlaw, Sean Brahini finally getting to him. So it'll be first and 10 JFK with 2.03 remaining in the fourth. And so the Raiders have put on a show here in the second half. First and 10 from the JFK 24. JFK, you would not know it, but JFK had a 14-7 lead in this game. And the Raiders have reeled off 33 unanswered points. Four wide receivers for the Mustangs. David Lee, still in at quarterback, out of the shotgun, hands off to Phil Lindsay and gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Looks like some of the backups are in for North Brunswick. Number 51, Daniel Urbina, who is a sophomore on the tackle, along with Asaru Napier, another sophomore, in on the stop. One for Lindsay, second and nine from the 25. With a minute and a half to go in the four, so you figure JFK is probably going to run probably two more plays here, unless they call a timeout. Lee, out of the shotgun, Lindsay to his right. Lee just with his hands on his hips. Not sure what JFK is waiting for. And he's going to go ahead and take the snap and hands off to Lindsay and Jose Rosado in on the stop. Lindsay getting a couple there. So 50 seconds to go. So the Raiders will enjoy their bye week on a four-game winning streak. It'll be third and seven from the 27. Most likely the final play of the game. And again, Lee calling signals. Out of the shotgun, takes the snap, and keeps it himself after the fake handoff to Lindsay Around the right side, 30, 35, 40, 45. Bowls over a man midfield to the near side, still on his feet, and still fighting for yards at the 45. And about three guys finally bring him down. Number 27, Damian Miller, another sophomore for the Raiders. Finally getting Lee down, so that'll pad some of Lee's stats. Gets it to the Raider 45, but that's going to do it as the clock is at five. And it'll wind down to zero. And this game is over. The North Brunswick Raiders have won their fourth straight game. They defeat the JFK Mustangs by a score of 40 to 14 here in Island. The Raiders reeling off 33 unanswered points in the second half second quarter towards the second half. JFK had a 14-7 lead in this game, and the Raiders came out with 33 unanswered points from the second quarter on and never looked back. However, they do lose Christian Petrillo. He came out of this game. and Chich looks like he's hobbling. Yeah, he's got that tape around his right ankle, so that seems to be the issue. 
So Christian Petrillo missing the second half of this game. And we'll see if he's okay during the bye week. And the Raiders will play again in two weeks when they head to Perth Amboy to take on the Panthers. But in the meantime, the Raiders winning four straight after an 0-2 start. They are now 4-2 on the season. JFK loses their fifth straight after winning on opening night against Red Bank. They drop to 1-5. Well, Mike Saipot and company has certainly made a difference here already in the first six games. I don't think there's any question about that. And, you know, the wins do the talking. Basically, the wins speak for themselves. You don't really have to add a whole lot. Miles Bailey, another big performance for Bailey, 193 yards, two rushing touchdowns, one receiving, three touchdowns on the night for Bailey. And you know, the Raiders continue to roll. Again, you, you're concerned about the status of Christian Petrillo with that ankle. But outside of that, a very good night if you're part of Raider Nation. Our next broadcast of North Brunswick Greatest Sports on the King James Radio Network on North Brunswick Greatest Football will be two weeks from tonight when the North Brunswick Raiders will be in Perth Danboy on October the 27th to take on the Perth Danboy Panthers. Game time is at 7 p.m. Raiders live, our pregame at 6.30. So as always, my thanks to head coach Mike Saipot and the coaching staff, offensive coordinator Pushon Brown, you know, Nick Saipot, John Saipot, so on and so on, Charlie Moore, so on and so forth, John Beato and, and all the coaches uh, with the Raiders. And so North Brunswick over JFK, 40-14, to 14, their highest point total in three years. And so looks like the JFK cheerleaders are going to do a routine, a post-game routine. I don't think I've seen that before. That's a first, a post-game routine. But uh, it's homecoming night, so you can do that. But in any event, that's it for us. Good night. Godspeed. We thank you for listening to North Brunswick Raiders football on the King James Radio Network. Stay tuned if we're doing any Lady Raiders volleyball next week with the GMC tournament. We'll let you know about that on our Facebook page, Facebook uh, under King James Radio Network, and on Twitter at King James Radio 1. All right. So otherwise, we will talk to you in two weeks from Perth Danboy. Your final score here, the North Brunswick Raiders 40 and the JFK Mustangs 14. The Raiders win their fourth straight. You folks, have a good night.